Hello, Boomer fam. What's your girl, Nada? Yeah, for Back with another video. Hey. Um, so. It's a big day. Yes. We are going to labor and delivery. Yes, we are. Very unexpected. Um, our baby was supposed to be due July 7th. However, we having a baby between, what's today, 14th and whatever. Yeah, 16th, possibly. We'll update y'all. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, it was a big surprise. Uh, Very pleasant one. Yes. Yeah, I was like, you good, y'all. I'm excited too. No, you good. I promise. You good. About to have a son. Okay. Y'all see a little shade thing back there with his little car seat? Oh, 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 oh. And then we got the bags back there, ready and go. Yeah, yeah, pregnancy hands. Mm -hmm. Not pregnancy hands. <laughs> <laughs> I can oh. wait pregnancy on everything. My time for that is coming to an end. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, right now we're about to get some KLC. Before we go in, um, so I'm not scheduled for C-section or you know vaginal birth. Whatever happens, happens they're gonna try vaginal birth first. We're gonna go with that, and yeah, I'm not too pressed about anything. Just as long as the baby come out good and healthy, we good. Yeah, we're supposed to go in tonight actually, but I got a call from the OB this morning. They're awesome. And she was like, well, you know, your fluid was a little low because I've been having to go to the hospital just because I'm a bit high risk. Um, your fluid has been a little low. So, um, you know, we want to induce you already type thing. Like, just come in. We're going to start the induction. I was like, ah, ah, <laughs> screams all over the place because uh, I didn't expect to get that call. But it's fine. We're headed there. Um, we had it at like, it's like 12 or whatever. Baby's still doing good. I felt him, I'm feeling him kick and stuff like that. <sighs> so yeah, I guess we'll keep you guys up there. Sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> In the waiting room. I don't know what this is. I never had to wait. That is in the waiting room. My bag, my So, huh? We are in the room, y'all. And I'm in this gown. Pop my fronts. And this is our room. I got where the baby's gonna be laying at. Got a chair. Got a uh, little sofa. Got a fridge. And a um, microwave for the food. Um, yeah, a bathroom. So this is gonna be it. I don't know if I'll actually get birth in this room. Oh. But so yeah. stress test for the baby. This IV didn't hurt that much. Made my pain tolerance better than I thought it was. I just psyched myself out. But yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, that's all. And right now, um, the nurse is going to go talk to the doctor to see what they're going to start me off with first, whether it be the Pitocin or the whatever deposit thingy thing that goes inside of the Yeah, service. I think it's like a capsule or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's about it. Um, I'm gonna show them the baby heart oh. rate. Oh. <laughs> what about the bed? <laughs> and yeah. And now he's at 146. Okay. So yeah, the nurses are great. Yeah, that's awesome here. Yeah, the nurses are great. So I'm just chilling and I guess I gotta wait till the pain come on and hit me. The next shot, well, I added a shot on. I'm getting a Tdap shot. <laughs> but besides that, the next major one is going to be the epidural. And that's it. Period, huh? Mm -hmm. I usually say it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Maybe you're right. Except there's no way she can pretend this didn't happen. She has no choice but to process it. 
What a dupe me, fam. Does the quality look different to y'all? Does it look different to the other? <laughs> we got a new camera. I am in love. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is exactly what I asked for. So this is my push present, and I didn't even push it, y'all. I got it like that. I got it like that. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Listen. So, so far, I love leaving off from the other videos. Y'all know I'm in the hospital giving. Well, giving. Going into labor. So far, I have the. What was the word I use? No, the pill that went inside the cervix. So, it seems. Dang it. I forgot what it was. I'll put it below somewhere. The, the contractions have started a little bit, but they're not unbearable at all. So, they say I see me, I probably, probably won't even be able to hold the camera. But, yeah, y'all, we lit. I wish I would have got a chance to do my hair. But I didn't get to because um, everything was just a short notice. Everything was so fast. And the main thing was for us to make sure we got everything ready for the baby. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys all sound real No, it's okay. I had me and this camera on. Alright, so we'll holler at y'all again in a little bit. <laughs> oh, let me give y'all the time. It's Yes, yeah. the 15th of June. Um, I got the insert, and I'll find a name for y'all around about, I want to say 530, 5.30, 5.30-ish. So, yeah, I'm starting to feel contractions, but not that bad. So, I'll come to y'all with an update. And I'm also getting some fluids because I was low on fluid through the IV. I'm on my second bag. There it is up there. You. <sighs> What's that? <laughs> Baby, wanna got us some Subway. Yes, I can still eat. All I got is a server deal. That's what it's called, server deal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to eat and drink and go to sleep and watch something. It's almost nighttime. Not sleep good. But yeah, I've been having contractions. I got my second dose of Cervidil. And that's about it. This thing still choking, so I can get flat about a day. But yeah, that's it so far. Um, the contractions aren't unbearable at all. So like light period counts for the time being, so. Got anything to say to the people this time? Thank you for being with us on our journey. We really appreciate you guys. I can't wait to share a bit more with y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Oh, and I'm still working out of kinks for the camera. I feel like it's a different setting I can put them in for nighttime. But for now, this is good. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Boomer fam? In the hospital with you, girl. She's resting right now, but she's carrying our baby boy. Oh, I was just walking right quick. Hey, hey, took him. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah. yeah. I just walked real quick. I don't know what we've been We just be here today, so you know. We'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know what oh, what's going on. Say bye, babe. She's tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so update. Faster than I thought, it is currently 4.34 a.m. And I had my last service bill, my third one that I took it out about 
no more. The girl graduated two centimeters. Now I'm able to go take a shower. They covered the IV because I didn't plan on getting another one. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna take an hour shower. And then after that, I am gonna accept the fentanyl. <laughs> I am. Um, and then before that wears off, epidural, because once the pitocin start, I need to be able to sit still and get the epidural. So that's how it's gonna go. This is gonna go fast. He'll be here before nightfall again. <laughs> um, I'm excited. I'm ready to get this over with and just go through the healing process. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Just keep you guys updated. We'll talk after I get to bed now. <laughs> okay, so y'all, we are washed up. Believe it. Naruto. They go hard. We're Naruto fans. Yeah. Not the biggest fans. Just the small ones. <laughs> so, it is what time, baby? 6.14. It is 6.14. Started Pitocin. I'm too soon to dilate it. Service is soft. And, yeah, we're getting the show on the road. We should have baby boy by before night, maybe. Seems like everything working like clock work. And then, what? <laughs> and then, um, I'm gonna get on the yoga ball and start walking around in like an hour or so. And then after that, I'm gonna ask for the epidural. <laughs> she told me that it won't wear off. He does, and I don't think there's no jinx in myself, so I'm gonna just say it. God has blessed me with a great um, labor so far, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna continue just because, you know, I believe He got us in that I'm being optimistic. Like, what works, what I need is fine, I'll take it. Right. So, that's the update for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you look so good. Y'all, let me just brag on him real quick. I don't care what y'all got. I'm pretty sure y'all got something good too. But I got the best man, the best baby father ever. Y'all, I haven't washed my own butt, feet, head, whatever you want to call it, my whole body. I haven't showered myself since like the first month when we found out I was pregnant. And um, it's been a big help because. <laughs> If y'all pregnant, y'all know it's hard to want to stand up in the shower, especially with supposed to be clean yourself and everything like that. So I've been blessed in that way. I haven't had to lift a finger, no groceries, no nothing. And when I couldn't do nothing, he didn't want me to do nothing anyways. But when I couldn't do nothing, he did everything. So shout out to you, boo. He made it seem that way too. And Father's Day is right around the corner, so you're going to have your Father's Day gift right in your arms. <laughs> it's June 18th, I believe, Father's Day. So yeah, I'm just I'm blessed and happy to carry this baby for us and have a safe and healthy delivery for the baby, whatever that means, you know what I mean? Hey man, I'm just excited. Alright, with that being said, we'll give y'all an update. When things change. I got it again. It is now eleven thirty AM June sixteenth. Um so I had I have a toasting or whatever. But I'm still two centimeters dilated. So the doctor said that um, she's going to go ahead and monitor the babies. And uh, she's going to break my water. So we'll see what else. Um, yeah, I've been in pain. I don't like it. Mm, I should. But um, it's not the worst ever. It's just I don't like it.
And after I get my water broken, I'm supposed to begin the epidural and then the catheter and all that good stuff. I don't know how fast it's going to take me to progress after that, but we'll see. And so that's the update. I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah. Yeah. Back with another video. So, the girl's not doing... She's doing alright, but not the best, you know. Um, she's on the oxygen mask right now. And it's because my baby wasn't getting... Well, his heart rate stayed constant. And, you know, it's probably because he, probably because he wasn't getting enough um, oxygen. So, yeah. I'm going to see how this turns out. Let's see what I see here. Yeah, so what he said, put me on oxygen so that, you know, to make sure that you get enough. They also gave me a shot to, um, start the contractions. Because maybe it was just too many things happening and I got to take out. I got to take my deep breaths first of all. But, I got the epidural. I got, you know, different things. And they all followed behind each other so maybe it was too fast. So that's what's going on. And at the Alright, what it do, Blooming fam? So as of right now, we got your girl in a fair position. This is with the show the baby heart rate. What is it? Hello. 171. Hmm? 171. Okay, it's going down. Okay. The baby heart rate, heart rate is up, and so you know, gotta make it comfortable so that it can go down. And so that's what's going on. I'm back on the pitocin. They up the dose two millimeters. Excuse me. We'll see. Thanks. <laughs> 